In this video, I'm going to be talking about the privacy aspects of the Unity Shopping Lens. So the Unity Shopping Lens was a feature that appears in Ubuntu 12.10 and has appeared so far in Ubuntu 13.04. So every time you type in a search in Unity Launcher, it brings back results from Amazon and 7 Digital. Now there's been a, quite a few people calling it spyware, and in particular Richard Stallman. I've seen he's written a story on that. But how would you define spyware? Well, I would say it's a company that's going to take information, say either with or without your permission, and sell it on to a marketing company or another shop. Perhaps that's, that part is against your permission. We know that Canonical are taking certain information there. We don't know what they're fully taking, but say I searched for snowmen and penguins. There, I've got it as my background, so why not? They're sending that information in encrypted format over to Amazon, and it's bringing back results. Interestingly, those results are unencrypted that come back. Anyway, that ties it up against my computer's IP address. Now, that's just my computer's address somewhere on the network. It doesn't say, Quids Up is interested in snowmen and penguins, so you need to send a load of marketing information to him. No. That Amazon don't necessarily know it's me asking for that, they just know it's a computer at this IP address is asking for that information. So really, <coughs> are personal details being bled out the system there? I, I don't see how because Canonical don't even ask for that information when you install. And now unlike Windows 8, that asks for your mobile phone number, or asks for a phone number when you install it. Now that could be giving out all sorts of information, but I don't see how Canonical could be. But then again, it's difficult to tell because the searches are, un are encrypted. I'll show you what's going on with Wireshark. Now, if you haven't heard of Wireshark before, it's a program that shows what's going in and out of your computer's network card. The results are quite long-winded, and frankly, uh, unless you've got an interest in using it, yeah, I wouldn't advise. But I'm going to talk through it, I'll explain what's going on, and you might find the results quite interesting. So for this part of the video, I'm going to recommend that you watch it in full screen in, in HD, because there's going to be quite a lot of information here. Right, so I've got Wireshark running in the background here with the IP address being filtered to the virtual machine. So let's start it up now. Minimize virtual box. So this is Ubuntu 13.04, which I tested out, which was sort of, sort of the alpha release that I looked at about what, a couple of weeks ago. So you can see a lot of activity going on now out of the network. Let me just move that to the other desktop. So let's put that down to there, and we'll start looking through. So what we've got. Right, so this is just like a lot of the initialization of the card. Get an IP address. Find if there's any other computers around on the network. Right, daisy.ubuntu.com is the whoopsie daisy crash assistant program. It's just getting the IP address of that. NTP, network time protocol, again, just getting the IP address of that. Nothing wrong with that. Right, but what's going on here? Right, we've got uh, queries for video search.ubuntu.com. Change logs. Right, okay, so there's a bit of network activity going on there. Right, with this system I disabled the results for Amazon Shopping, so if I search for an item, nothing will appear. And just to confirm that, if we go back to Wireshark, we find that there's, well, no other activity. Just see what's going on there. Okay, nothing much there, that's just connected to the change logs and come back with nothing. Nothing wrong with that. So with the online shopping results turned off, there's well, no interference there for doing Unity searches. So now let's go and put it back on. So go to Privacy, now it'll include shopping results in the dash. Right, hopefully nothing so far because we've got nothing appearing. Again, let me just go and confirm that. Ah, and actually we do have activity. ProductSearch.bin2.com now let me just check the IP address of this one. So it's return results of 91189-8922 and 89134. Let's just see if we can spot them. 8922. Encrypted handshake, encrypted handshake, and there's a message here. Follow the stream. Right. Sadly, because we don't have the certificate here, I cannot read this message. It's just, well, gobbledygook. 
Right, now we've got pictures appear on this search. So again, go back to Wireshark. Oh dear, this is getting a bit of a mess now. What we're going to do now is just narrow it down a little bit. So I'm just going to filter for that. The IP address and HTTP re requests. We've got HTTP requests to or Amazon and some JPEG files. Port 80 and protocol HTTP means they're unencrypted. Right, images.amazon.com. We can see the name of the image, but that doesn't really make much sense. Uh, we can see it as a JPEG file because JFIF is a JPEG. If I put the contents of that into a file, I will be able to view the picture. So that means all the results back from that Unity query are all unencrypted. One last look back at the operating system. Into terminal, sudo su, and we can look at what connections are open. In fact, a lot of them are being closed now, but I noticed that an awful lot of these connections were being left open. So we've got Unity Shopping, this is one of the applications, and numerous of those IPs, which I believe are all Amazon IPs. So the process leaving those open is GVFSD HTTP. Well, I appreciate that was probably confusing for most people there, but look, what you could see was uh, the searches going out were encrypted format, but the results back for all the pictures were unencrypted. That's a bit of a disadvantage there, so anyone monitoring the network could kind of guess what was being searched for by the pictures that were being returned. You're also seeing a lot of caching going on. Can't really read too much into that. Maybe it's just an inefficiency thing, wasting a little bandwidth perhaps, but yeah, not much. This is kilobytes probably, not even that. It's certainly intriguing all of this. I, I mean, I, I had no idea what was going on in Ubuntu myself, but you just appreciate you sit there and use the system and kill me, don't, don't stop to think about it. I don't think it's a dangerous thing. I'm not going to go as far to call it spyware because they, they don't have all the details about me. They just know that it's my computer, potentially my ID as well, that they don't know it's me personally. So dubious things to have, maybe it's better just to leave the online searching off, but I've always said about Ubuntu that they need to find a better method of doing the online searches, just make it a, a lens on Unity, not have it running all the time. Well, thanks for watching, see you later.